we need something more right now that is going to require uh, deep listening, intense, rigorous storytelling, not propaganda. We need real human experience and we need to understand the impact that we're having on each other. We need to be willing to change. We are the gods and we have to fix things. We have the capacity to do that. We have the intelligence to do that, both spiritual intelligence, intellectual intelligence. And so our work is to show up and reshape this place. Welcome back for another Timeless. In the week leading up to the US election, this felt like a good one to share as energies of fear and grief run high. In this timeless episode, Patrice Cullors highlights the urgent call for a softer, more connected world, where care is the base of everything we do. She offers a powerful vision for how we can cultivate healing through active, compassionate engagement in our communities. For those of you that listen regularly to this podcast and love it, please could you write us a review over on Apple if you still listen there or wherever it is that you might listen. As with the changes in how people listen to podcasts, we don't get as many reviews as we used to. And it's really, really lovely to hear from you and to know how this is landing in your bodies. Starting next week on November the 6th, there is an opportunity to join Reclaim Your Intuition with me and journey over six weeks with a wonderful group of people. This isn't just a course, it's an odyssey, an immersive experience carefully crafted to help you unveil the superpower within. With a blend of rituals, playful practices, trust building tools and powerful activations, you will be guided through a transformative rites of passage connecting you to your intuition. Though delivered online, the true magic happens offline in your daily life where you'll integrate these teachings so they naturally become part of who you are. I have put my heart, soul and 20 years of understanding this theme into this. I really feel that developing a relationship with our intuition and deep listening and the unseen is such a key for these times. And so I would love for you to take this invitation to either create a relationship with your intuition or to strengthen it. There is great power in the group field too of us taking this journey together from this new moon and Diwali time towards winter solstice. If you miss it, you can still work through the journey in your own time. However, the live journey comes with six live calls, an opening and closing ceremony, and a one-to-one with me, where we specifically work with integrating some of your unconscious fears, guilts, and shames, and planting new seeds of being that allow you to really bloom into the, the beauty of who you are. The journey includes six daily practices that can literally change the way that you experience the world. And I don't say that lightly. These are really connected to your brain health, which is something that has become so important to me. I share practices that support your vagus nerve, get you talking to trees and explore your creativity. And so more than what you might imagine intuition is, it's a full journey and experience that gets you communing with the modern human world and bringing into form all of these incredible creative impulses, as well as understanding how your body works and what may be blocking you from fully experiencing your intuitive intelligence. You can find out all the details on our events calendar at allthatweare.org. And we will be sharing at some point in the coming weeks more about Presence Collective and the reformation of our membership to make it more interactive so that we can connect deeper. Our guest today, Patrice Cullors, is an artist, author and abolitionist born and raised in Los Angeles and has been on the front line of abolitionist organizing for 22 years. She has advanced a term called abolitionist aesthetics. Her latest work is examining an art practice that leads 
through West African spirituality, as well as pushing the culture to adopt abolitionist beliefs in order to build our imagination towards a world we all deserve. She believes in the power of alchemy. She has long been drawn to the unseen and is inspired by the beauty of freedom found in different planes and dimensions. She shares, the art that I'm making asks the viewer to witness the whole of their humanity. As a New York Times bestselling author of When They Call You a Terrorist and An Abolitionist Handbook, she uses both art and language to reimagine current frameworks in favor of new approaches to liberation and community care. The evolution of color's creative output and techniques as evidenced in the forthcoming solo show at Charlie James Gallery is born of a calling to express the full humanity of who she is unconfined to a single medium or dimension. She says, as a black woman who's an artist, entrepreneur, author, writer, it's always been an expectation that I shrink, that I only do one thing. So part of what I wanted to live out loud is that I'm a full human being that is very interested in the fullness of our humanity and the ways that we can access freedom. I believe that the way we access freedom is by practicing freedom. And the way I practice freedom is by doing all the things that move me to create. This timeless excerpt that you will hear now is from episode 201, where Patrice Cullors shares on abolition, art activism, and courageous resourcing in our episode entitled Cultures of Care. Here she shares how to move beyond propaganda and embrace true transformation. We hope that listening to just this small part will give you space to contemplate, integrate, and embody what you hear. Welcome to All That We Are, with me, your host, Amisha Tala Oak. On this show, we explore the weave between activism, the sacred, creativity, and regeneration, the spaces where our inner and outer worlds dance. From healing trauma, to nature connection, to new technologies, to ancient wisdom, it's time for us to move beyond silos and into an integrated way of being. Every one of us has ideas and personal experiences to share that can lead us to a more beautiful future. Despite the challenges we face as a global community or the pressures we meet in our daily lives, when we stop and dare to listen, to ask ourselves the big questions and to share what we are already doing and envisioning. We create the futures of our wildest dreams and we begin to embody all that we are, all that we are becoming and all that is possible. Our evolution is rooted in a softness and a, a connectivity that I hear so many of us so desperately want. I also know for for those of us who live in the West, in the so-called West, I live in the United States, one of the most dangerous countries, purveyors of violence, not just in my own country, obviously, as Black people are one of the number one groups that experience hate and violence from vigilantes, but also from our own systems, but also the U.S. being a purveyor of violence around the world. I don't believe it's sustainable to live in violence. I don't believe that it's even at the core of who we are. I believe that many of us actually in our bodies want something different, and we have to practice that difference. As I sort of long for this future of abolition, I also call it upon myself in real time right now to practice abolition and my relationships and my community. We're not alone in this global call, this global request, this global sharing of what's possible around healing, transformation, and care. For me, that is like a big primary goal. You know, that's kind of my life's goal is to be the abolitionist in real time. Because at some point, 
whether it's in my lifetime or not, these systems that we live in are, are not going to exist anymore. And who we are will exist. And what we create is based on who we are. What is required in this moment for the human condition to evolve is a deep unification around why we all deserve healing, care, transformation, why we don't deserve our lands being taken, why we don't deserve violence in our communities, the things that we don't deserve. But I promise you, social media is not going to get us closer to the things that we want. Although it's a great place to unify people, it's a great place to make an argument about something, it is, it's really great for that. But we need something more right now that is going to require uh, deep listening, intense, rigorous storytelling, not propaganda. We need storytelling. We need real human experience. And we need to understand the impact that we're having on each other. We need to be willing to change. Bell Hooks wrote a book, The Will to Change. We need to be willing to change and transform. The Ifa tradition we sort of see things as cause and effect. So much of this time is due to the lack of respect human beings have to the earth and to each other. And that only way out of this is to regain a respect. The Ifa faith is an earth-based tradition. So everything is about the earth. Every object is a god that is to be honored, to be revered. And so, you know, this moment is a moment of deep grief and suffering because we caused it and we have to do something about it. You know, Ifa is this, it's this tradition where it's, there isn't this separate God in the sky that's going to fix things. Like we are the gods and we have to fix things. We have the capacity to do that. We have the intelligence to do that, both spiritual intelligence, intellectual intelligence. And so our work is to show up and reshape this place. Thank you for listening. We hope that you have enjoyed this episode and it has sparked some inspiration and creativity in you. This is one of our timeless editions, a short and powerful piece of wisdom for you to contemplate, integrate and embody. We have an archive of over 200 epics, long, deep conversations for you to explore, share and enjoy. We keep this podcast advertising free as we don't want to sell you things that you don't need. This is made possible by you supporting our work as a member of Presence Collective, a patron, or through joining our offerings. You can also support us by sharing this with those that you love. Can you send it to 10 people who you know will find it powerful? This podcast is made by an all-female global team you can explore our world at allthatweare.org and find your ways to take part. All That We Are celebrates all that we are already and the untapped potential that lives inside us. We exist to offer a space of sanctuary in the ever-increasing chaos, a place where you can come and be in good company, a place where you can learn, unlearn, and connect to your own wisdom. And know that in each and every moment, all that we are is here. <laughs>